All right, time for another episode of Ace Combat. I'm calling these episodes parts. I don't know, whatever. So let's just continue on with the story. As of 1 p.m. today, the Kingdom of Arugia has declared war on the Ocean Federation. As soon as the news broke out, enemy aircraft began bombing Ocean territory, causing widespread destruction. Oh, wow. The Air Defense Force okay. has released a statement <laughs> saying this violent attack was carried out by drones. Drones. They speculate the drones were secretly transported to Osea in shipping containers and launched remotely. The Secretary of the Navy has stated that the enemy was targeting naval ports across the country. Huh. According to the Secretary, all of the nation's aircraft carriers, including one still under construction, sustained severe damage in the attacks. We have yet to hear back from the department as to the fate of Ocean carriers currently at sea. Hold on, I've just received breaking news. The International Space Elevator, which is being built in southern Yuzha, has been seized by the Erusian Army. Reports say former President Harling was touring the site at the time, but his current whereabouts are unknown. Oh, that's Our sources bad. <laughs> in government tell us it was Harling's policies regarding the space elevator that caused economic frictions in the area, and which ultimately led to this war. Located near Erugia, on the continent of Yuzha, the space elevator has been under construction for some time now. The Executive Office of the Ocean Federation has declared a national state of emergency. They have ordered all its armed forces, including Yuzhan peacekeepers, mm. to mobilize and make the necessary preparations to launch an immediate counterattack. Ladies and gentlemen, our country is officially at war. Stay <laughs> tuned for further updates. Nordlands. Breaking news from ENN. Wow. Ocean launched an attack news going on, on the today, huh? Striking Farbanti from their aircraft carrier, the Kestrel II. After a brutal battle, the Erujian Air Force successfully repelled them. During the air raid, the Ocean Air Force fired missiles at the city and managed to shoot down a number of Erujian fighters. Some of the disabled planes then crashed into residential areas. All right, that's pretty bad. <laughs> the world was screwed. 20 years ago, <clears throat> the Earth got slammed by an asteroid. Yuja was on the wrong side of the planet and got hit. Hard. Refugees swarmed the Erujian Republic, the biggest country on the continent, plunging it into chaos. Ooh, those refugees, huh? <laughs> ...and started a war, one they had no hope of winning. Modern day issues. That's the war my dad fought and died Oh, in. man. The biggest nations... You're gonna politicize to something. Head -to -head. <laughs> Let's not do that. Called righteous Oceans struck Just play video games, that's all. <laughs> they fancied themselves the only nation that could bring peace and stability to the world. They even tried saving the Yuzhans, still suffering from the disaster. That's how a space elevator, stretching way up into the sky, ended up being built in Yuzha. Hmm. Paid for by the Oceans. Okay. President Harling said he did it out of compassion for his fellow humans. But to the folks in Erugia, it looked like Osea was moving in to take over. Erugia went from being a republic, <clears throat> back to being a kingdom. Yeah. Okay. When they started this new war, they managed to get the drop on everyone. All right. The second the declaration hit the news, Erujian forces took control of the space elevator without spilling a single drop of blood. All right. President Harling was touring the elevator when it happened and disappeared. <laughs> okay. President? Then, while that was going on, the Is there a president in a kingdom? Around Osea released a swarm of drone fighters they had hidden on board. Oh, wait, no. The I think they changed no, into a kingdom. Of doing what they did that day. Yeah. With pinpoint no. accuracy, they managed to take I don't know. <laughs> don't get me into politics. I don't know anything. Osea pissed lots of people off with their huge military presence around the world. Erugia didn't have the same reach, but they could hit their targets <clears> faster <throat> and cleaner. And when all this was going down, I just so happened to be in my flying drag racer. Hmm. Ooh, get that Bert. Bert. <laughs> Gotta watch out for that Bert. In case you were wondering, yeah, I survived. I crashed in a bombed out Ocean Air Force base, then got arrested for breaking wartime aviation laws or some crap. The world went from being at peace to being at war, all in the blink of an eye. Today, it's okay to the lives 
Wow, arrested for just flying. <laughs> what a world they live in when you can't even fly. I was tried, found guilty, and stuffed into a cargo ship. For company, I had some court martialed soldiers. <clears throat> and remember those mothballed planes I told you about before? They were loaded on the ship, too. We headed off down south for several days and then swung east. That's how I got here. I was thousands of kilometers from Arugia on the opposite side of the Yuzian continent. For a port, it was dull as hell. It had three rusty patrol boats and the base. The fences were topped with razor wire. The tower had a searchlight and machine guns and a truck with a gun turret was parked in front of the gate. Its gun was aimed at the yard. This was a prison. This place looked like a full-on base, but half the tanker trucks were just big balloons, and the runways weren't even paved, just painted on the dirt. The whole place was just one big fat lie. Oops. The only reason <laughs> the skip I was button here comes up. is they knew I'd restore <laughs> I was the moving my controller zone. around. They wanted me to make something out of the mothballed planes they brought that they could park on the fake runway. Can you believe that shit? So, I tried to escape. <laughs> they found out <laughs> and set the dogs on me. All right. Well, that's pretty bad <laughs> let's go to mission two I just want to shoot down some planes that's all <laughs> I don't care about your politics I just want to shoot some goddamn planes and all countries on the Yuzhen continent stationing the IUN peacekeeping no I'm just kidding we are now at war it's pretty interesting right after the declaration was story made, I mean. surprise attacks began around the continent that have inflicted major damage to our armed forces Forces aligned with Arugia are currently appearing throughout Yuzhia. The combination of these forces has overwhelmed the majority of the continent, and they are now encroaching on us in the east. Additionally, the multinational space elevator has been seized by the Arugian military. After the previous war, the space elevator became both a symbol of peace and a valuable asset in the fight against growing energy concerns. Whoever has control of it will have enormous influence over the entire continent. We cannot turn a blind eye to this critical situation. The Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron has been entered into the order of battle to reclaim the elevator as an advanced element. First, you will attack all hostiles coming in the east of Schofield Plateau to stop any interference with the Allied ground troops. The enemy has deployed several vehicles equipped with anti-air radar along the roads. You are to destroy them. They should not pose much of a threat. However, there is a high likelihood that the attack will draw more enemy air support. If that happens, fight them off swiftly and establish air superiority. All right, so that's the objective, huh? Destroy the enemy ground facilities. Okay. Now zoom in. Okay, so there's trigger. Get that radar vehicle, some more of these stuff. And there is a possibility that uh, air reinforcements will come along. Sure, why not? Oh, let me check out the aircraft tree, which I unlocked. Let's see. Points awarded depending on your performance in missions and matches. They can be exchanged for new aircraft, special weaponry, and upgrade parts on the aircraft tree. You receive them in campaign mode for each mission. You complete in, in multiplayer mode for each match you play. Okay. <laughs> the better your performance, determined by your completion time, number of kills, etc. The more points you can obtain. Blah, 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 blah. Some more stuff. Let me read this. Uh, let me do a little speed reading here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, it can't be refunded. Okay. Uh-huh. Yep. Fighter, multi-role attacker. At air, at a surface, other, blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay. Cool stuff. 
can only apply that only apply in multiplayer mode. Okay. Sure, why not? Ah, I unlocked something. Unlock that. What else? The Mirage 2000. A29A. That one is locked. What is this lock thing? Let me see. Airman First Class. Wait a minute, hold on. Roll stability. Okay. Hmm, this is a uh, bomb. Short range aerial suppression air to air missile. Okay. So I can unlock stuff. Oh. <laughs> okay. Free flight mode, yeah. Ah, what should I buy? F14? You want them, uh, variable wings? <laughs> the Tomcat. <laughs> okay. Uh, how many? Oh, I don't have enough points for it. Okay, well, that was kind of a waste. That's a lot of points right there. So I can buy a, gra a guided penetration bomb, which would be pretty good for this mission. And uh, you know what? Yeah, let's unlock all this stuff. Forget about it, you know? Four target air-to-air -air missile. Ah. It will explode even if it's not the direct hit. Okay, okay, that's good. So if you got a target that's really uh, jittery, you can use the SASM to uh, just, you know, I mean, if it's not a direct hit, you can still damage them, so that's pretty good. And this is good for the next mission, or the mission now. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, start mission. Okay, so we got the F-16C, and I will use the guided penetration bomb. Upgrade parts? Oh. You can equip your aircraft with these parts. Let's see. Boost, arms, miscellaneous. Slot limits. Other limits. Okay. Exclusive to campaign or multiplayer mode. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that would make it a little faster, right? Yeah. All right. So we are done with everything. Let's go. Let's play. Squadron sorting ASAP. Let's take out some ground targets. Destroy the enemy ground facilities. All right, let me get in the position here. I'm sitting at an angle, that's why. <laughs> I need to sit uh, in front of the screen so I can see. I'll adjust the microphone while it's loading. And scratch my back. <laughs> Don't want to be bothered while I'm flying. and anti-air weaponry. Destroy the target. But HQ has made it clear that no harm should come to civilians and no damage is to be done to public facilities. All right. No collateral damage. Aircraft shot down could land in civilian territory. No point arguing. That's how war is these days. Do you have visual on the anti-air radar vehicles? They should be close. Right. Yep. Here we go. Oh, autopilot. Okay. That's pretty cool. Alrighty. Let's see if that hits. Boom. Next one. Get that AA gun. Vehicle 
<laughs> you guys have no chance. Yeah, well, that's too bad. vehicle over here. Pay attention to who's on what side. The newest IFF is connected to our entire force via satellites. It's reliable, so trust your radars. Oops. Two targets remaining. <laughs> All right. Did they get a damage? Yeah, I see it. Ooh. Good job. Oh god. Vehicles destroyed, but the interceptor shows no sign of retreating. Take it out. All right, time to go and take out that interceptor. Yeah, there's it. Yeah, I don't care. I'll be okay. Oh, man, I missed. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I hear the warnings. I'm not stupid. I'm going to take out these ground targets because uh, they're very juicy. Alright, pull up. Yeah, I got it. I got it. No, I will go after every target because I'm the best. <laughs> you. Enemy on your tail. Oh, wait. Uh, is he talking to me or Golem 2? I didn't hear it quite. This watchtower right here. C17. Boom, another hit. Go after all these targets. They're really good. Fighters off me. Oops. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Alright, I'm gonna use my guns on this guy. Behind target and ready to attack. Ooh, ooh, you you think you're smart, huh? <laughs> That's okay. Pull out. Ooh. Well, you know what? Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Buzzed the ground there. They do? Oh. I don't know what... Uh, Boom, baby. Nice job. No. Missile. 
Nice. Good job. Oh, so those are the critical targets on my radar. They also mess with your HUD and radar. The Seekers can sometimes lose their lockout to their targets, too. Ooh, missed. Nice job there, buddy. But I'm going to get you. Sooner or later. You're mine. No. <laughs> Enemy missile chasing me. Just blow him out of the sky. Come on, where are you? I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. You're mine. I'm gonna go for this one. Another one. Oh, nice. Yes. Couple more targets left. Two of them. Oh. Unmanned aerial vehicles. <laughs> what happened? Status report. Multiple bogies on radar. They're close. Wait. They're being launched. You're clear to engage. They're probably hostile. I'm Judging by the way they look and move, they gotta be drones. Spotted cloud. No doubt about it. We're dealing with UAV. Ooh. That doesn't change a thing. Just Just close. Somewhat clever decoys. Take them all down. These drones have great agility. All aircraft. You know what high G turns are, right? Use them. HQ, this is gone. Oh. Okay. IG turn. Nice. That's what I'm that's what I'm missing. That doesn't matter. Destroy all enemy fighters and get out. It doesn't matter. You say the war can change in an instant get over it. Yeah, I just wish they'd give us a bit more warning. That's how you do a high G turn. Okay. I was wondering how you do that. Oh, this guy's pretty tough, huh? Mage two locked. All right. Guess I'm gonna have to use the. Uh... Attack missed. Golem squadron, surround him. All right. Nice. There we go. Got one of them finally. That's going to miss. That's going to miss. Yeah, I knew it. Because <laughs> I'm attacking him from... Uh, <clears throat> I'm, not, I'm not attacking them behind, that's why. You need to get behind them. This might hit. Yeah, I got it. Another target here. This one's uh. That's a miss. This one's juking me. 
There we go. Heading straight for me. Boom. Gotcha. I'm buying dinner for anyone who takes down an enemy. There's a bar I want to try. You're doing good. <laughs> Just two more. Boom. Nice. Let's get through this without any casualties. This one is a little troublemaker here. Oops. Oh, I'm stalling. There we go. That was a little troublemaker, huh? Hiding in the clouds, huh? You got like five planes coming after you. So drones don't feel the G force, huh? Ah, uh, too much rain. This guy's fast. But I am getting closer. There we go. Ah, oh, don't tell me I missed. Come on. I don't know what that maneuver was, but that was pretty bad. Just I need to get behind him. I don't know where he is. What the where'd he go? Mage two, walking. Come on, oh you serious? Target is in range of guns. There we go. Ooh. Skies are clear. Nice work, everyone. Mission complete. RTB. No casualties. We couldn't have done any better. Returning to base. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the bandits we took down caused civilian casualties. <laughs> Cost of war, I guess. That's how war is these days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Shoot, someone gets killed. The guys in charge take care of the rest. That's the kind of prevailing uh, philosophy. Collateral damage will always happen. Oh, let me check out this uh, replay here. It happens. It's not cool, but it happens. Come to civilians and no damages to be done. But uh, any aircraft shot down could land. Let me just uh, speed this up. I want to see some cool stuff. Ooh, there we go. Boom. Where's another one? I wish you could save replays. I don't know how, though. Is there a way to save replays? Get that AA gun. Boom. <laughs> Let's slow this down. All right, that's enough. Hmm. Yeah, I do that a lot. Overshooting. <laughs> it's funny. Need to work on that. That's a pretty. Uh, that happens to me a lot. I'm a little too eager. Too overzealous. <laughs> You've given us air superiority by destroying their radar. The first barrier keeping us from retaking the space elevator is gone. Now is the time to group up and begin the counteroffensive. Let us reclaim what is ours. Ah, that was a B. Yeah, it took a little too long trying to get those, uh, those targets in the air. But, you know, it was all fun. I'm not really going for score right now. I just want to wanna play the game. And, uh, yeah, just looking at the replay here. Pretty cool. And, yeah, there we go. 
that's uh, mission two for Ace Combat. I'll see you guys next time.